So here there will be a change. We had been seeing that in ROM arrays and in EEPROM we use only one transistor, correct? This is shown this way, but we drew it this way, one and the same thing. In floating gate, we had this symbol, correct? But we had only one transistor in each row. Suppose this was my word line, this was my D7, this was my D6, this was either ground or it was connected to something else. Technically it has to be ground, not to something else. So basically what we are trying to understand here is we had only one transistor in my NOR based ROM arrays or my EEPROM in that particular cell. If you have still got confused, very simple. Suppose it's a cell of an array. All the cells, each location would have had only one transistor, correct? Only one, 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 one. Here, in case of double EEPROM, you have two transistors. Let's understand why. First, let's understand the two transistors. This is my floating gate transistor, correct? We have shown it the input as word line. It's connected in series to a transistor which is called a select transistor which will quickly understand what is the use of this and this is my bit line. Just focus on this and now we'll understand in an array or in a array of multiple cells how do you read and write. See why are we trying to do this? We understood that the drawback of EEPROM was that it cannot erase a specific part of the memory. To erase a specific part of the memory and to do it electrically, we brought a new memory which is double EEPROM electrically erasable programmable read only memory. We saw how we can electrically erase. Now we are trying to see that how we can electrically erase only a specific part of the memory. So that's where we are trying to understand the structure. So I have just replicated this block four times and I've shown an array. Don't get confused. The diagram is simple. One transistor connected in series with other. This is a floating transistor, this is grounded, this is word line, and this is word line dash. It's not complementary to this, it's just word line dash, remember that. Here, four different locations, first location, second location, third location, and first, fourth location. In the first location, two transistors, second location, two, third location, two, and fourth location, two. Fair enough? So I have shown this. As I said, N1, N5, N3, N7 are all select transistors, okay? We have also seen for arrays what is the process of programming, what is the process of giving the voltages for programming also, what is the process of giving the voltages. And we saw that unlike one transistor, each cell has two transistors. So this is the connection, this is a column, right? So all this will be connected to bit. Again, this is a column, so all this will be connected to bit. This is a row. So both the floating gates will get the same word line, both the floating gates will get the same word line, both the select transistor will get word line dash, word line one dash both the select transistors will get word line 2 dash. So this is a row, this is a column and the connections have been made to make a cell or an array. Now we want to erase a specific location. Say I want to erase whatever is present on N2. I want to do that. So for that, we know that for erasing make the drain voltage high and gate voltage zero. Suppose the select transistor wouldn't have been there. There are a lot of transistors in this column, right? This is exactly the concept which is used in flash, which will come to very shortly. What would have happened is, this is all floating gates, right? This is all grounded. Basically, I'm trying to tell you why we are looking for this transistor. Suppose only this would have been present. That's what I've drawn here. So now I wanted to erase. So suppose I wanted to erase. I know that I have to make my drain voltage very high. This bit, this is nothing but drain. So I would have made this 25 volts and gate voltage has to be zero. So all of this would be technically not on, right, at the same time. And that means this will lead to a global erase. Means drain would have been 25, so all the column transistors would have gone drain voltage as 25 volts. Whereas the gate voltages were zero, so the erasing would have happened for all in that column and that is nothing but a global erase. How does this select transistor avoid this? Let's understand this. So we want to erase N2, right? So for that, the first thing which we will do is you will make your drain high, which I have done. This is drain. This is drain for this 25 volts. In that case, both these drains were directly connected to the floating gate. So both were getting erased or all the transistors in this column were getting erased. Let's see how this is different. So this makes drain high. V bit one is equal to 25 volts. V bit two at that point of time is kept floating. Remember that. So here, N2 and N4 are in contention, right? Because this is 25 volts, this is floating. So no change on the drain voltage here. It's not zero, it's not 25, so it's floating. So this cell or this column is out of the picture. Only this, so this column is in contention and specifically N2 and N4. So then we make 
word line prime equal to VDD. Fine. Now, because we want to erase N2, we'll make word line prime 1 equal to VDD. That means word line prime 2 is equal to 0. If this is 0, this select transistor N3 is off. N7 is also off, but we are not considering this column because we already saw that this is off because bit 2 is floating, correct? So this is off. N1 is on because word line 1 prime is high or VDD. This is on. This is VDD. This is a pass transistor. So drain voltage goes, gets 25 volts. Gate voltage is 0, correct? Word line 1 is 0. Word line prime is on, so select transistor is on. So gate voltage, word line 1 is 0. So the gate voltage of the floating gate is 0. Drain voltage is 25, that's exactly what we want, so erasing will happen of N2. Similarly, we can show it for programming also. Remember that all other bit lines have to be floating, so that nothing happens in the other columns. No erase, no programming. If you want to do a specific thing at a specific location. So this is the concept of double EEPROM. Flash is also a type of EEPROM. The difference is a single transistor, they don't have a select transistor. I've just explained you this, word line 1, word line 2, so on and so forth. So if I have to erase, if I get give 25 volts this is drain right if i give 25 volts at the drain then all these transistors because the word lines would be zero would be erased at the same time it's nothing but a global erase in the next clip we will see nor based flash memories and nan based flash memories i hope you have followed this stay tuned take care and thank you very much